And so for this question, uh, this question is part of question nine. Uh, so it's part of question nine from 2021 in paper two. So basically it's this uh, question on probability. Okay, so the probability can be an issue here. If, if you look at the table, it's almost blank. So you will need to be able to fill in uh, correctly okay, with the information. So first of all, the question says that there are 16 employees. So later on, I'm expecting that this one will add up to 16. Okay, then uh, if you choose one of the employee, the probability that is with a man working part-time. It is a man and the man is working part-time is one over eight. So in actual fact, you can go and multiply by the total number. You realize that there will be two men working part-time. So just that piece of information, you will be able to find out that there are two men working part-time. And after this, you will realize that there are seven male. So there are seven men. So that you will be left with nine women. So out of the nine women, there are some that are working part-time and some that are working full-time. Okay, so subsequently, the next one, we are going into choosing two employees. So I'm going to choose two employees. And the probability that both are women working full-time. So both are women working full-time. So I wouldn't know how many women are working full-time how many women are working part-time. But I do know that they add up to um, nine. So I'm going to assign this as X. So here will be a nine minus X. So that means, right, there are X women working full-time. So both are working full-time. So there are X of them. Okay, so what is the probability that the first one is a woman working full-time? The first one is a woman working full time. So it will be X over a grand total of 16. So after the first woman is taken out, if you are choosing from the second, from you are choosing the second woman from the rest, you are effectively effectively left with 15 uh workers. And the number of full-time woman workers will be lesser. Because the first one has already been taken, taken up. So from here, you multiply these two probability, it will get you a 1 over 8. And from there, your job is to make same, uh, no need make same de denominator. It's just numerator times numerator, denominator de times denominator. So you can cross multiply. Eventually, you'll get a quadratic equation. You can check out my answer sheet or you can try working it out. Eventually, you will get a quadratic equation. You will get two possible answers, which you will need to reject because it cannot be a negative quantity. And then this is a six, and then this will be a three. So that's how you fill up the table based on the probability that they are providing to you.